Hey everyone, this is Angel from Avex Gaming with a brand new video for Returnal. And welcome to our second stop in Atropos, the Crimson Wastes. Here I am going to show you all of the hostiles and fauna that you will be finding in the second volume and how you can counter each and every one of them so you can have a very chance to survive. If you're looking for a boss guide, I'll have that uploaded later in the week and I'll leave the link in the comment section down below. There are timestamps in the description of the video and YouTube player as well in case you are focusing on a specific enemy. Let's start with the most basic enemy in this volume, the Etheract. They usually attack with a square formation of bullets or a triple laser beam that you can evade by performing a dash anywhere. With a square bullet shape, I tend to dash forward because sometimes dashing to the sides or backwards has resulted in a hit every once in a while, especially when you are surrounded by three or more of them. They are a little bit more difficult to stagger, so keep strafing to avoid getting hit until you can safely do a mano a mano against the remaining one. Our second enemy in this biome is the Waste Carboronix, very similar to the Biome 1 Carboronix, but with some slight variations. The long distance attack has a weird build formation, but can still be easily avoided by dashing to the sides. As you get closer, it will switch to the close quarters bite attack that you can avoid by dashing. Keep an eye on its body because instead of doing an instant launch against you, it will do a quick sidestep and then the launch. Once you stagger the Carveronix, you have enough time to close the gap and perform a melee hit to finish him off. Up next we have the Crimson Turret, which is a very annoying upgrade from the first turret that will fire a continuous stream of bullets for 3 seconds. If you don't have a place to take cover behind, run to one side and then do a dash against the bullet to cross them and avoid getting hit. The best option is always to attack in the distance, but if you have to get close, the melee attack will destroy them in one hit. Let's go now with the heavy hitters of Biome 2, starting with the Gorgole. This is actually a very easy one to defeat. To do any damage, you need to hit his head. If you hit anywhere else, there will not be any significant damage. His main attack is a set of tracking missiles that can be avoided by dashing and continue moving. And the second long distance attack is a sideways beam that you can avoid either dashing or jumping. And if you get close enough, it will trigger two red rings that you need to jump continuously. The next big guy on the list is the Mighty Arconact. The tricks attack to evade are these projectiles that open up and then join in the middle. The key to avoiding them is doing a forward dash, not when they open up, but just a little bit later so you can dash through when they join in the center. The second attack is a spin that releases a bunch of bullets in a close range radius. Just avoid them by either keeping your distance or dashing towards the center. The third attack is a sphere bullet formation that launches homing missiles. Just wait for them to trigger and keep moving to either side to avoid them. The Malform Arconac is probably the least lethal of all the Malformants. Just stick to the basics of the previous three movements, use any cover or consumables available to your advantage, and always keep an eye with the purple beams. Finally, we have the Severed, perhaps the most annoying enemy in the whole game with plenty of attacks. The first and most basic attack is a couple of shots with red bullets that can be dodged to the sides. The second attack is a purple beam. Watch out for its left arm, and as you see him move it around and glow, prepare to dash away. The third attack is an air stomp, and as you see him disappear at the top of your screen, move away and prepare to jump or dash over the red ring. Fourth attack is a really weird one. He will turn into a weird sperm shape and start following you. When you hear him turn back into its original form, dash away to avoid getting hit. 
Finally, the fifth attack. When you see his sword glow with purple rays, prepare to dodge the next two sword attacks. It is easier to avoid both of them if you dash the first one and jump over the second one because the dash cooldown is not quick enough to use it against both attacks. And that was the second guy on surviving Atropos with the enemies of the second biome. Don't forget to check the Returnal playlist for more useful videos. Hope this was useful, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.